Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 3. So a couple of days ago, I made a video where we went over the description as well as some promo images for the mid-season finale or episode 9 of Arrow Season 5. I will leave that video linked in the description below if you do want to go check that out. Now in that video, I did say I would do the exact same, but for The Flash Season 3 mid-season finale, and that's what we are going to do right now. Now only the description for the Flash Season 3 mid-season finale has been released. The promo images will most likely come out on the day of the Flash episode of the Fortnite crossover, or the day after that, one of the two. So just keep your eyes out for it if you are interested in seeing those images. The Flash has its promo images released later than Arrow usually. My only guess is because the promo images for the Flash can be a bit more spoilerish, if you know what I mean while Arrow usually sticks to the safe side when it comes to his promo images. But anyway, let's get into it. The title for the mid-season finale or episode 9 of The Flash Season 3 is The Present, and the description goes like this. With alchemy and Savitar still looming threats, Barry is unable to focus on the Christmas holiday and especially his relationship with Iris. Determined to stop Savitar, Barry goes to Earth 3 to get advice from Jay Garrick. Wally wants to help Barry fight Savitar and reveals that he's been training with HR, which doesn't go over well with Barry. As Sisko faces his first Christmas without his brother Dante, old wounds are reopened. So wow, that was one hefty description. Episode 9 of all the shows, as the title and parts of the description do suggest, is the Christmas episode. So we will get some tree decorating and carols singing throughout. But also the episode title of the present could mean, you know, the present as in the current time, as well as a Christmas present. But anyway, let's go through this description and break it down, as well as point out some stuff that we know about this episode that actually isn't included in the description. So to start off the description we have, with Alchemy and Savitar still looming threats. So this isn't that surprising that Alchemy and Savitar are still causing some trouble for Barry. I guess the big question is how much will they be involved in this episode? My guess is that they'll be in the episode towards the beginning for about five minutes and then towards the end for, you know, another five minutes as well, possibly to set up a cliffhanger over the mid-season break. Now, Greg Belanti did say that Alchemy would be revealed in episode nine, but we saw that in episode seven, right? Well, we did. However, he might have been saying that to throw us off, so we were surprised in Episode 7. Or possibly in Episode 9, Alchemy is revealed to Team Flash. But I guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Next we have, Barry is unable to focus on the Christmas holiday, and especially his relationship with Iris. Seeing this is a Christmas episode, they usually do focus on relationships for the most part. It will be somewhat interesting to see what does happen here. I personally do think they need to do something with the Iris character, like focus on her journalism or something, because at the moment she is just there at Star Labs for the sake of being there, and it is becoming more obvious by the episode, like every single time I put out a review episode, more people seem to notice, like, what is Iris doing? She just is at Star Labs for some reason. So hopefully they do something with her character over the second half of this season. Up next is... Determined to stop Savitar, Barry goes to Earth 3 to get advice from Jay Garrick. So this is going to be awesome to see, not only because, you know, having Jay Garrick back, but also just going to Earth 3, like that's awesome. Now I think the purpose of the visit is to possibly learn more about his abilities from Jay Garrick because Jay Garrick is so much more experienced. But Jay may also know of Savitar, or have at least heard rumours about him. You never know, Jay may drop like a Max Mercury hint, or even actually name drop Max Mercury, which would be pretty damn sick. Also, Barry and Jay are going to team up to take down an Earth-3 version of an Earth-1 villain who, let's say, likes to use the Force, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't want to spoil it in this video, but you can Google some stuff and you should be able to find out who I'm talking about pretty easily. The second final thing we have is, Wally wants to help Barry fight Savitar, and reveals that he's been training with HR which doesn't go over well with Barry. Now in the crossover episode, they will do some stuff with Wally in regards to him really wanting to help Barry take down evil forces. So it will continue in this episode as well. Now the reason I think Barry is annoyed at HR training Wally is because he isn't a speedster. He doesn't know all about his powers. He doesn't know how to use them properly. He doesn't know how to maintain a proper personal life while having these abilities and how to you know, keep his body 
are, you know, in, in working order and, and keep it healthy. So this is most likely what Barry's annoyed at, but also HR might be telling him to do stupid stuff because it's HR. He's a smart dude for the most part, but he can be a bit silly from what we've seen over the uh, few episodes that he's been present. And the final thing we have here is, as Cisco faces his first Christmas without his brother Dante, old wounds are reopened. So Dante is in this episode, like the actors in it. So I'm guessing they will either be visions or hallucinations of Dante by Cisco, with Dante speaking to him, possibly in a negative light, which could hurt Cisco emotionally. Or we will see Dante in flashbacks, and we will see what Cisco and Dante's relationship was like in this timeline before Dante was unfortunately killed. So as I did sort of mention in this video, this is the mid-season finale. Obviously, there's a mid-season break, which goes for around six to seven weeks. It's a massive break, I know. It's a bit annoying, but you never know. Time flies, so just watch some other shows, binge watch some other shows to keep your mind focused, or even just re-watch Flash. Who knows? Whatever you want to do. But we still got two more weeks of Flash and all the other shows, so it's still cool. And speaking of the other shows, the crossover starts tomorrow with Supergirl. As I've mentioned in like multiple videos, don't go into the Supergirl episode expecting the whole episode to be crossover. It's the last five minutes roughly. So yeah, don't get disappointed, please. But Flash, Arrow and Legend of Tomorrow is where that crossover story is jam-packed and I cannot wait. I remember when they first announced this and I lost my crap when they first announced it and now it's finally here. Like, Time has flown, like it's incredible. But thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy the video, it'd be very much appreciated. If you could leave a like on it, let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to most in this episode. To me, Earth 3, gonna be really awesome to see Jay Garrick in his environment and just see what Earth 3 is like. And also let me know, are you hyped for the crossover? Give me a hype rating out of 10 in the comment section below in regards to how hype you are for that crossover. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys, and goodbye.